Welcome to the Michigan State University Parking Portal. In this video, we will demonstrate how to update and add vehicles to your MSU employee decal permit. This information is applicable to physical employee permits that are repositionable. If that does not apply to your permit, please contact Parking Services or visit our website for details about your permit. Currently, we are viewing the main page of the MSU portal. This website can be accessed through the parking website or by searching portal.parking.msu.edu. To get started, let's log in using our MSU NetID and password. Once logged in, we'll resume on the main page of the portal. From here, we'll want to find our active permits. We can access this by selecting permits from the menu bar and clicking on view your permits. It's possible that your bar may look different than mine. If so, you'll want to select the more option and open the drop down menu. Alternatively, if we scroll down, we can also select view your permits under the permit section in the middle of the page. Here we are now seeing the current permits active on our account. Please verify the status and expiration date to confirm which permit should be updated if you're seeing multiple permits. Select the permit number. Upon selection, all permit information will be visible, including any currently associated vehicles. To add another vehicle, we'll continue scrolling down and select the Add Vehicles to Permit button. It is at this time that any other vehicles connected to your customer account, but not yet connected to the permit, will be displayed as options. If the plate you wish to add is listed, go ahead and select it, and then click the Add the Selected Vehicle button. That vehicle is now connected to your associated vehicle list. If you're adding a new license plate, you will then want to select add a new vehicle instead of selecting a plate from the list. Once completed and this section is filled in, you'll select next and continue through the process. If a license plate is already connected to your permit, but the vehicle description has changed, the vehicle record must be updated. To do so, we'll select vehicles from the main menu bar. If your menu bar looks different than mine, it's possible that the menu is condensed. You'll want to select the more option, opening up the drop down menu and clicking vehicles. Once on this page, all vehicles currently connected to your customer account with MSU parking services will be listed. Please note that vehicles listed here may not currently be connected to your permit. While you can add new vehicles to your customer account from this screen, any new plate and vehicle that's added will not automatically be connected to your permit, as noted in the second paragraph. To update the description of a vehicle, we'll want to click on the plate and select Edit from the center of the screen. Clicking the Next button to finalize. Once the plate has been updated, you're all set to continue parking as normal. Plate and vehicle details must be up to date on your permit record to have valid parking. If unable to make certain modifications online through the portal for any reason, contact Parking Services and we'll be happy to update your information. We hope this how-to video helps demonstrate the convenient ability to change your information through the portal. Don't hesitate to contact Parking Services with any questions about your permit, its privileges, or parking on campus.